Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you how to set up our assembly uh, templates that we're going to use in class. So we're going to have two of them just like we have with the part templates. There are the millimeter and the inch templates. So we'll start with the millimeter templates and uh, we'll get started. So what you want to do is you want to go to File, when you go to New, what we're going to do is we're going to open up our assembly template from the Tutorial tab here. We open up our new uh, SolidWorks document and we want to assign our properties to it. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and close this out because we don't want to insert any uh, any models in here yet. What we do want to do is just make sure we save this as our, our temple file. So first thing you want to do is go to File, Save As. You want to save this in uh, the appropriate folder. Mine's going to be in the template folder and you want to call it ASSEM-MM-NZ and then it'll be a SolidWorks assembly file. So I'm going to go ahead and overwrite what I have in here. And uh, yeah, that's what we want to call it. So we're going to go to save. So now we want to uh, do our setting. So let's go up to the options tab on our menu pull down. And uh, in our system options, you want to make sure that under uh, display selection, let's go ahead and click on that. You want to make sure this is third angle down here. It's not really important unless you want to have uh, various uh, viewports and use those viewports. But if you do, you want to make sure you have third angle, and we did this very same change in the part template file. So, then document properties. We don't want ISO, we want to make sure we're un under ANSI. So when you go to document properties at the very top of the, up at uh, drafting standard, just go ahead and choose ANSI. Scroll down here to units, and we're doing millimeter first, so we're going to do millimeter gram second. And uh, the length, we're going to keep that at uh, two units after the, after the decimal. And then with the dual dimension length, we haven't talked about dual dimensions yet, but dual dimensions are there with the regular dimensions. And uh, they're usually going to be underneath, and they're going to be in brackets. They're going to be uh, uh, behind or within parentheses. So in other words, they're kind of like secondary dimensions, but we want to be able to define those two and still have that option. So same thing with our, our part files. We're going to go ahead and change that. And we're going to make that to three units after the gospel. And I go to OK. And that's it. That's it for now at least, but we're going to go ahead and file, and we're going to save it. And then file, save as, and guess what? We're going to do the same thing for inches. So, go to assembly, inch, ANSI. And yes, we want to replace it, so the, we're going to spell that the same as we spelled the other one, except inches are going to be in its place of MM. So, ASSEM dash INCH dash ANSI. And uh, it's probably a good idea to make all these capitals. Just uh, probably get you in the habit of uh, capitals uh, for um, anything that's important, especially file names. But it's also a good format to use when you're uh, doing your drawings too. Everything is in capital letters when you're putting your drawings together. So go to yes, and uh, again go back to our options button on our pull down menu, system options. We're going to make sure that our detailing or display selection also says third angle. That shouldn't have changed. Document properties is still going to be ANSI. Go down here to units, and instead of millimeter gram second, we want inch pound second. So our initial units, this is grayed out, so our initial units are going to be inches. We want to make sure that's three units after the decimal. And then our dual dimension, instead of inches, we're going to choose millimeters. It's the very same thing we did for our part temple files. And this time we want to make it just two units after the decimal. <coughs> and you notice we had a dialog box up there uh, just, just for a moment. What it's going to say, instead of uh, ANSI, it's now going to say ANSI modified in regard to our drafting standard. So let's go back and take a look at that. So now it's going to say ANSI modified. And it's only because we've uh, kind of varied just slightly from uh, the ANSI standards. All the standards associated with the ANSI and ISO and some of the other ones are already embedded in SOLIDWORKS. If we make uh, changes to those, it'll see over the ANSI standard, uh, drafting standard here, but it's going to call it ANSI modified so we don't overwrite the original file. So if we were to change that back just by, uh, just for the fun of it, go back down to our units. Length is in inches by uh, three units here. And our dual dimension is going to be still uh, two units after the decimal. Drafting standard still says ANSI. We're going to go to OK there. But I suspect if we go back to that, it'll probably be changed. Yeah, it's back to ANSI modified. And that's because our units are changed from what uh, is the norm you know, it's just our standard of doing this, but uh, we're going to keep the ANSI modified and kind of go from there. So go to OK, save it, close it, and you're ready to do your first assembly.